This year marks the 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations between South Korea and Chile. To commemorate the occasion, experts from the two sides held talks on ways to expand ties by exploring a variety of fields from economy to culture. Ideon shares with us what was discussed. 60 years. That's how long South Korea and Chile have been in a diplomatic relationship. And to celebrate the anniversary, related experts ranging from government officials, scholars and economists to journalists gathered in Seoul on Thursday to discuss ways to expand networks. The foreign ministry aims to expand strategic bilateral talks with South American countries while cooperating in a variety of sectors like investment, trade and culture. Economic diplomacy, such as supply chain ties, will also be strengthened too. And Chile is the best partner for us to achieve that. In terms of economic cooperation, Chile's government official highlighted how both countries have been able to establish strong trade relations. During COVID, it was a stressful situation with, between commerce, the logistics, and, but our authorities trust in each other. So Korea gave a good um, example of trust and uh, facilitated commerce, and also we tried to support that confidence. There were other topics on the table too, including ways to increase cultural exchanges. One former student from the Pontifical Catholic University of Chile who wrote a thesis on K-pop in Latin America says open-mindedness is needed. I think it's important for Chileans to be more open about new cultures and accept them in their own communities. This will also benefit the relationship between the two countries. This is steadily processing in Chile's society today. South Korea's government has worked to enhance its collaborations with Chile as Prime Minister Han Dok Su signed an MOU for bilateral cooperation on mining and mineral resources last month. MOUs for research cooperation in agricultural technologies and democratic talks were also signed between the two countries. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.